it's a fantastic job, it's so varied. A challenge at times, but I wouldn't do anything else. The thing I love about my job is there's so many different things. I used to be in Lloyds Bank. I worked in the bank until I had my son. And then I helped on a farm. They had sheep and turkeys. And the chap there said to me, well, you used to be in the bank. Why don't you have a go at my books? So I had a go and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought, right, I want to do this properly. So I found out about courses. You can do short courses attached to accounting. And, and I had a thoroughly good time. Well, it was fantastic. Really good. Without Tracy, everything falls to bits quite quickly. So Tracy holds everything together by paying people, so wages, all our invoices for our materials, what we buy, but also for writing out invoices. Because she's very good at her job, then it's peace of mind for me. I just send stuff over and she sorts it out and makes it happen. It's important for the farmer to know where to invest, how his investment is doing, whether he's spending money on the right part of it. I can help in this and, and I'm part of the business and he looks to me for that information. I find the job very satisfying. It's a job full of diversity and the flexible hours are very helpful too. I have a passion for agriculture and I love bookkeeping, to, so to marry the two together is, is great. Today I'm working at Hardingham Farms and I come here once a week. Alison looks after all the financials, basically, for the business. Inputs all invoices for payment, bank reconciliation, deals with all wages, deals with all HR matters, um, and is the office backup that any business needs. When I started doing this, I was a young mum and being able to juggle having children and a job as well. This particular job was ideal for that. I work with a number of different farms and some of them I do work in the farm office and then with some of the others I go and collect the box and take it home and work with it at home. My advice to you would be to contact IAGSA and then they will put you in touch with somebody and you can shadow somebody in a farm office to give you some experience. Within every farm office there is a farm administrator and we're all different but we all have one thing in common and that is that we are keeping farming going and keeping the paperwork all in order so that the businesses can continue. Things change so quickly in both farming and bookkeeping and accountancy. Our aim is to keep you up to date with what's going on. As part of our website we have a members area where you can do your continuous professional development. This is a great way to keep learning, keep yourself professional and keep challenging yourself. So that's what you can get from our website. We also operate on a local level and we have many branches around the country. A really good chance to network, chat to other farm secretaries, discuss any problems that you've got, get new ideas and make new friends. I've been a farm administrator for my whole career and I've really enjoyed being the linchpin of many businesses. I'm very proud to have been involved with the production of this book, the Farm Office Handbook, and it's an invaluable reference source for all farm offices. It's got everything that you need to know in it, about from accounts to payroll, statutory rules and regulations. It will guide you through your profit and loss account and balance sheet. It's the Farm Office Bible. It's different every day. It's not you run of a mill, sit in front of a computer, inputting. It's just so varied and so interesting. There's a huge amount to learn, but it is totally rewarding and you might get to sit on the combine as well at the end of the year. Flexible and lots of variety. Exciting. If you're interested in numbers and enjoy meeting varying different clients and their businesses, then this job could be for you. I love the commute to work because I drop off the girls at school and it's just down a few country lanes. 
and I love being part of helping make a business successful. For big farmers that sell vegetables to the supermarkets, we have to keep very, very precise records. We need to know exactly what was grown in each field and what inputs went onto that field. This job can be really varied. You can have some days that you're just in the office, getting through the work. Other times, if you're coming to talk about budgets or mapping, you might come in to see somebody like Wilson Rate and talk to other business professionals. Working in a modern farming business is an incredibly exciting place to be and for that reason I can only encourage people to look to a career as a farm business administrator as a really satisfying way to spend your time. In the future, as my children get older, then I would hopefully find a few more clients. I think the great thing about this job is that you can have one client, five clients or 20 clients. You can work as much as you like really but it's hard when you're working on your own to have the confidence. So becoming a part of IAXA has been brilliant. And the best part of it for me has been having a mentor. You can pick up the phone, have a chat. She's been able to guide me through sticky situations and it really helps having someone just to talk the issues through. It's a really satisfying job. There is definite job satisfaction at the end of the day. I think that farm business administrators have a very important role. I think they'll gradually become more and more important because as we move to a more electronic system and, and certainly HMRC wanting information more regularly in real time, um, they are the people that are going to be dealing with that on a day-to-day -day basis or a monthly or a quarterly basis. So I think that their role is going to become more and more important. It will change perhaps the nature of what they do and how they do it will change, but I think their role itself will stay very, very important. My name is Kia Hall and I'm training to be a farm secretary and bookkeeper. There's a lot of word of mouth in the industry, so it's about networking and talking to other people who are doing the job currently and seeing if there's any vacancies that are coming up. Being a member of IAGSA, I've also joined my local branch, so I'm picking up hearing about jobs uh, through local members, but also through the bulletin as well. And I'm looking to become self-employed so I can achieve a better work-life balance with my young family. If you're interested in a fascinating job in the countryside in rural administration, contact the National IAGSA office and we can give you lots of advice and help you with your career development.